So this is my model of a non-renewable fossil fuel power station. Now, to be honest, from the outside, you can't see much. There's like a big chimney here. And over here, we've got a transformer to the electricity cables and then the rest of the national grid. But this is where all the magic happens. Now, most power stations look the same. They're just big, nondescript buildings. I mean, they have to be big because of the amount of electricity that they generate. So let's have a look inside these two buildings to see what's actually happening. So now you can see what's inside a power station. So first of all, we have our source of fuel. Now it could be oil, coal, gas, it could be biofuel, like bits of wood which are burnt or maybe some rubbish. But effectively what we do over here is we send the fuel into the furnace where it's burning. And above the furnace, we have these pipes which we have water in. Obviously we're gonna start heating up the water. That then turns to steam. And then the steam comes out of this building and into this point over here. And what we have here, is the steam comes down and it hits this turbine, which then starts to turn, as the name suggests. Now this turbine is then connected to a generator. And a generator is basically where you've got um, some magnets, you've got a conductor, and if you move that conductor inside the magnetic field, we then cause an electric current. And it's this thing here, which then goes off to, in this case, a step-up transformer and the rest of the national grid. So this is your basic construction of a fossil fuel powered power station. What we're doing is we're basically burning something to heat water, that causes steam, steam turns a turbine, the turbine turns a generator, and then the generator generates electricity.